he had access to enormous sums of top-secret documents that would be incredibly harmful. He went through and turned over only a small portion of those documents to us, all of which he read very carefully. And I know that not only because he told me that, but also because the way we got the documents was in extremely detailed folders, all divided by content, that you could have only organized them and had you carefully read them. And when he gave them to us, he said, look, I'm not a journalist. I'm not a high-level government official. I am not saying that everything I gave you should be published. I don't want it all to be published. I want you as journalists to go through it and decide what is in the public interest and what will not cause a lot of harm. He invited, in fact, urged us to exercise exactly the kind of journalistic judgment that we have exercised. And so had it been his intention to harm the United States, he could have just uploaded all these documents to the Internet um, or found the most damaging ones and, and caused them to be published. He did the opposite. The NSA and, and the rest of the country owe him a huge debt of gratitude for all of the work he's done to inform the American public without bringing about any harm to them.